All right, this is day nine of my ADF routine, um, my alternate day fasting routine, and I'm um, just finishing up a 10 mile jog. I took a, um, a challenge by somebody in the Facebook group, said they were doing 10 miles a day, so I'm like, okay, I'll go ahead and do 10 miles a day too. So uh, I didn't do it fast, I did it super. 10 miles, oh, there goes 10 miles, just hit it. Duration I did it super two hours, slowly. Um, I just did like seconds. a light jogging pace, you know, I'm not Remaining time, right zero now. second. I'm, you know, still able to breathe in and out through my nose, and that's key. You know, just doing a slow cardio, keeping my heart rate down, keeping my heart rate uh, 185 minus my age, which is, you know, below 140. I want to keep my heart rate below 140 to make sure that I'm actually burning fat and just not burning off sugars. Obviously, since I fasted all day yesterday, I'm not going to be burning much. I'm not going to have much sugar in my body. You know, I'm going to have a little bit in my muscles, a little glycogen in my muscles, and a little bit of a uh, little bit of a. Uh, uh, glycogen in my in my liver as well you know but most of that actually gets uh, depleted through the day as you're fasting so that's it i just wanted to do this morning update um and then what i'll do next on this video is my food for the day i went ahead and uh did a like a pre-made lunch i went ahead and did a meal prep as it were so uh, i'll have that later on today but what I'll do next is my breakfast so uh, I'll go ahead and get home and start cooking my breakfast next so I went ahead and did, did something easy too last night uh, I went ahead and chopped up all my veggies and my meat um, and uh, so I got that ready for breakfast so I'm gonna make it super quick all right so that'll be next all right here's the cooking portion I'm gonna do my breakfast really quick this is some extra virgin olive oil Get some breakfast. All right, this is some real butter. I'm just gonna use a little bit of real butter in here. Not that fake butter. Not I can't believe it's not butter. Um, you know, not the margarine, not the country crock. We're just using butter, olive oil, coconut oil, and MCT oil. I got some mushrooms right here already pre-cut. I'm gonna throw these mushrooms in here. I've got this zucchini chopped up, ready to go. Got my green tea going right here. So there's that. Turn that up and grow a spatula. Okay, yeah, so that oil and butter, that's about a tablespoon of oil and butter put together. So that's about 100 grams of, uh, or 100 calories, about 11 grams of, uh, I'm sorry about, yeah, I think it's like 9 to 11 grams of fat right there. Okay, we've got some uh, apple cider vinegar. can't find my lemon juice so I'm just gonna take this straight with no lemon juice it's not that good Ugh, I'll just take it off I'll go ahead and put something in here too turmeric and ginger. I'm going to open up the capsule, drop it in here. Here's a probiotic, this is a simple probiotic. And what I'm gonna do is the same thing. Open up this capsule. It's uh, one of these capsules. Just gonna open it up and put it here inside my drink. That way I get my probiotic, my turmeric, and my apple cider vinegar all at the same time. 
Right. You're saving time right here. Alright, and the, re the reason we're doing this is because this is low carb, and this is plenty of good vegetables, this is good and uh, good for your gut. I know right here I got some, um, this is two ounces of top sirloin steak, and uh, one ounce of some chicken thighs. And then I got some uh, two scrambled eggs that uh, my kids didn't eat yesterday. And this is meat left over from Sunday. All right, I'm gonna throw some salt and pepper on here. Now, if you got high blood pressure, you probably don't want to use any salt. But if you do want to use a little bit of salt, I could use some sea salt or some Himalayan pink salt. This is lower in sodium. But yeah, I would if you got liver issues or if you got high blood pressure, you know you probably need to be using like some Mrs. Dash or some no salt, something like this. This is uh, sodium, uh, potassium. I'm sorry, potassium chloride, and this is no salt. It says no sodium, just potassium. So that's another option. It doesn't taste that that good, I don't think. But some people like it. You can use mustache. You can use garlic powder, onion powder, something like that. But yeah, so we're five minutes into the video now and we got our food almost cooked. I'll throw these eggs in here. And then I'll throw uh, our other eggs. Alright, I'm going to throw in two eggs and two egg whites. Is that in the bowl, baby, or boiled or no? Alright, throwing in two eggs and four egg whites. So, since this is two servings right here, one for myself, one for my wife. We're each gonna have we're each gonna have two eggs and four egg whites. We're gonna have two eggs and two egg whites each. And the reason I'm cutting out the yolks is because I don't want so much fat in here. I've already got enough fat in here and I got fat on my body. So we don't need any extra fat. So we'll just throw in these eggs for the extra protein. And we'll cut out the yolk, which is mostly fat. The yolk has like one gram of protein, but the white has six grams of protein. The yolk has like eight grams of fat. No, it has like six grams of fat. All right, so now we're making an omelet here. Might end up like more of a scramble than an omelet. We'll see.
All right, so all I'm going to do now is throw some cottage cheese on here and fold it over. All right, this is a quarter cup. A whole serving is a half cup. I'm going to try to use... Um, you know, a whole cup on here. I don't know if it's going to fit. All right, I almost got a, almost got a half, almost got three quarters of a cup. All right, that's about three quarters of a cup right there. All right, so I'm using this cottage cheese instead of like um, shredded cheese because it has more, that has too much fat. Um, uh, avocado has too much fat. This is a lot more protein and just a few carbs, so I wanted to use this instead. All right, so I'm just gonna fold this over and be done with it, and then. Uh, from there, I'll probably just go on to the next video. All right, so this is my lunch video for ADF routine day nine. And uh, I forgot to mention this morning, it was a 500 calorie meal that, uh, the breakfast meal that I made with the, the omelet or scramble rather. And it was a 500 calorie meal. So it was a small meal, it was half fats, half proteins. The sirloin steak was like half fat, half protein. Same thing with the, uh, same thing with the chicken. And uh, I had a snack too, it's this, uh, Jack Link's original beef jerky and if you look on the side it says nine grams so nine grams you know that means you know that's nine grams of protein there's no fat there's no carbs in here so nine straight grams of protein right there zero fat so that's gonna bring your macros up all right so uh, I was able to put all this in one container uh, even with my with that snack right there all right so this is my lunch and I'll show you what this is real quick this is uh, tuna this is 29 grams of tuna so this is um, about 29 grams of protein uh, because it's just one gram of fat. So 29 grams of tuna, uh, which ends up being like an ounce of tuna, something like that. And then uh, here's uh, here's uh, two Easter egg whites and two regular egg whites right here. All right, so that's just egg whites. That's all protein. That's um, six egg, four egg whites. So that's uh, six, 12, 18, 24 grams of protein. All right, so uh, plenty of protein there. Um, and then here's, here's some greens. Here's some cheese. This is just fat, but I just wanted this, okay? That's some cheese. And then here's some uh, pork rind crumbles. And then here's some pickles, all right? And so this is, uh, that's my meal prep. Let me just mix this in here. Oh yeah, and then uh, here's my um, half cup of cottage cheese. And that's gonna be my dressing for the day because I didn't want to do a, fat dr a fatty dressing. I wanted to do more of a lean dressing. And so that's why I went ahead and did that. All right, I already got enough fat right here with the cheese. All right, here's the egg whites, so I'll throw these in. All right, and then here's the uh, 29 grams or 28 grams of white chunk albacore tuna. Super lean, it's like 28, 28, or 28 grams of protein and one gram of fat. All right, so super lean. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get more protein in right now. I'm going to be doing more workouts too uh, to, to build muscle. So that's going to be more protein, less fat. You know, we're going to be fasting, you know, 44 hour fasts. All right. And so here's this. And then let me get my dressing. So instead of doing a fatty dressing, which is mostly fat, which is fine, but I just wanted to do, you know, less fat in my diet, more protein. So I did this cottage cheese instead. So we'll put this on here. And this will be the dressing. Instead of having fats, you know, and I just had that little bit of cheese right there. Just makes it a leaner meal. All right, there it is. Boom, and uh, and we got our lunch here. So this now this is also 500 calories. Uh, it's got enough protein to keep me to to basically get me out of ketosis, which is fine because you know it's such a low insulin response that I'll get off of this because there's no carbs in here. So the good thing is that I'll be able to uh, get back into keto ketosis pretty quick 
and I'm doing a 44 hour fast after this. Uh, so, so I'll, I'll get into ketosis quick and then I'll be in, I'll be fat burning after that for the, for the whole day tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, that's what this meal is going to do for me. I, I'm having it like three and a half hours, uh, in, after my first meal. So, um, I'm going to try to keep within a four hour eating window, uh, eating this and, um, yeah, and that'll, and that'll help me uh, extend my fast. I'll, it'll make it a longer fast. And this is super lean. Like I said, 500 calories, but it's mostly protein. It's like 75 to 80% protein and 25% fats, maybe 20% fats and like maybe 5% or less of carbs because I got a little bit of carbs off of the cottage cheese. Other than that, boom, just a super lean, easy, quick meal. I'll be able to eat this real quick, get 500 calories in. I had 500 this morning, so that's 1,000 calories. So that added up 1,000 for two days. It's like 500 calories a day. It's definitely a deficit. You'll definitely burn fat uh, because you do the long fast. And uh, you know you can eat more than this if you want to. You can throw another can of, uh, of tuna in here if you want to. Uh, you know I just wanted to keep it lean right now because I'm trying to burn some fat. So boom, that's it right there. All right.